meeting of the minds. Today we're here with the great Steve Cunningham from Census <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the YouTube page and the social media account that is literally recatechizing all people that I've talked to. So, Steve, thanks for being with us. <laughs> uh, no problem. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you, I, I found I stumbled upon your page probably about two or three years ago. And haven't been able to stop watching ever since. So it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to eat, uh, bathe. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, that's great stuff. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, how you came to the faith, how Census Fidelium got started. Uh, well, cradle, well, I guess, you know, the cradle Catholic thing is the way it is. Uh, I grew up in it. Mom was the, uh, the, the only one really practicing. My dad wasn't until... Literally, the right before he died, he converted the Easter before that, which my brother and I at the time, we, we didn't, we were, you know, lukewarm punching our tickets. And I remember dad giving my mom a card saying, uh, this Easter off come Catholic and gave it on Christmas. And my brother and I were kind of like, yeah, OK, who cares? <laughs> and uh, it wasn't until after college and uh, uh, dad died and we, he always taught us about uh, reading and we never read. Whole time he was alive, we never read one book. I think. I mean, I, I think I tried reading Larry Bird Drive. I yeah. still have it over here. It's, he was my he was my favorite player. I played basketball, and baseball yeah. in high school, and college, and so Bird was it. And uh, yeah. so after he died, I, st- I got into I was, my brother and I both were in personal training, and we did that for about six years in Columbia, and he was in Ath- Athens. And uh, then I got a job in medical sales as an assistant. And I changed everything where I was going. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was kind of like an Obama guy for a little bit just because I yep. saw him on ESPN. Yep. And somebody asked me, hey, who do you think? Who are you like? And I, well, that guy's cool. He's on ESPN. Yeah. That was that was as far as my politics went. Sure. And uh, a buddy of mine embarrassed me. He told me uh, I should start reading before I say anything other, anything else dumb. And uh, he said a little bit worse than that. I just yeah. said that. But uh, yeah, I don't know who the audience. Yeah. And uh, I'm changed my I started reading a little bit different and uh found a uh, talk radio and would being in the car the whole time you know rush and those guys never listening in my life being in the field well my brother started seeing what I was posting on Facebook and we were just use Facebook just to make each other laugh and and uh all of a sudden I started posting stuff about what's going on in the medical industry we saw Obamacare coming in I was you know putting up we were getting the HSS letters before everybody else knew about it and well, he saw I was going politically, and he said, well, let me for Lent do something state uh, church-related. So every day for Lent, he was posting about a saint of the day. And I'd see it. I didn't care, but I saw it. And then he started doing apologetics. And I was reading it, and it was pretty it was, you know, interesting, but I didn't really care much. So uh, after about six months of that, he finally texted me up, says, you know, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. And that was the first week I read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and some reason the uh, part about Saint Mary Magdalene having seven demons really stood out. I go, "Wow, I never heard that." And but well, at the end of it, I go, "All right, what's next?" And then introduced the full sheen, world's first love. That was my first book I read after that. And then I got you know books over here, <laughs> books over there, books over there, books over here, <laughs> advertising books. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much the reversion per se, and. The channel, the idea. I'm sorry. What year was that again? 2008, 2009. That was 2011. 2011. Okay. No, yeah, 2009, 2009 ish. Okay. And because the channel didn't really start going to about 2011, 2012, and uh, that was because of greater glory. Even though I saw sermons already online, I'd work out the house. The P90X stopped going to gyms and just did yeah. at the house. I was lazy, and. Uh, so I'd watch watch sermons while I was working out, and I was always just wanting more, more, more. And there was only about eight on there. And then I remember Greater Glory come out. I'm a Knight of Columbus by this time, and I remember them saying they were advertising how proud they were of advertising the, the movie. And my brother and I and a friend of mine who just died two weeks ago, we the three of us went in to watch Greater Glory, and uh, we were the only ones under the age of 150, and there was only seven people in in the, in the whole theater. And I think the people there were actually in the war. Uh, <laughs> and so I was kind of embarrassed about how nobody was going to the movie. It's just a weekend thing and, a, you know, great actors, but nobody was promoting it. So I remember a priest did a sermon on it. It was about 35 minutes long or something like that. And 
took me all weekend to figure out, all right, how can I put this up? Let me, maybe if I put this up, I can help advertise for the movie. And six beers later, I figure out how to put a video together. I just, I'm sitting there going, all right, I got the thing up. How do you do this? And yeah. And then I heard another sermon the next day, another sermon the next day, and I started thinking, well, if I'd learn something, somebody else may learn something. Let's just keep posting. If I'd learn something, I'm going to post another one. And 4,055 videos later. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it starts. And that's, uh, that's how it all happens. So what made you think of the name Census Fidelium? <laughs> well, there's a, uh, it was a uh, uh, story with the, the guy I was helping out. We were working together uh that had the uh, name Audio Sancto, and we had a little disagreement on a uh, one thing, and uh, he asked me to change the name of the uh, the channel from Video Sancto, and I'm going, when am I going to turn this? When am I going to change it into? And I think I I think I did a, like a Google or Yahoo search for names at the time. What could I do? Then you know some Catholic names, and some reason Census Fidelium popped up, and it was in a you know just there's in a couple of encyclicals, but. It's, it's not exactly something that people always walk around and just say. So I tried that. And I was like, well, let me try that. I don't know what else to go with. And it stuck and worked. <laughs> Powered by the Holy Spirit. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So then how, okay, so then how did you link up with Father Ripperger, start getting some of his sermons? Well, they were already on the uh, the audio channel, the audio website, Okay. And you know, even on that, no one had a clue who did what. You could just tell there were different na- different voices. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I didn't know who they were until probably about four years later. A parish tried shutting me down, and uh, yeah, Catholic parish. Why? And I heard through the grapevine about it, and uh, I asked a couple priests, I asked a couple guys that I know of, hey, yeah, uh, can you find out any information? Help me out on this. This is what's going on. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know how legit it is, but this is a friend of mine through a friend that's a good source saying that this was pretty strong. They're trying to do this. And uh, it was a blessing in disguise because all the priests that were already on all contacted me, told me they're on board. They're heading my back to do anything I want. Uh, my bud, Ryan, he ended, we ended up becoming real good friends after that. He ended up telling me that father was a big fan of what I was doing, needed anything, just let him know. And uh, no, and then I found a bunch of sermons I needed to redo anyways. So yeah. I was like, hey, this worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And then we started talking. I was in Denver uh, and uh, Ryan, Ryan came down for a conference that I brought him down for. And he goes, yeah, you want to meet Father? I go, yeah, sure. No problem. Let's go up. And so we uh, hung out for an afternoon. And uh, that, then now we you know, chat every so often. And he tells he sends me the, the, you know more programs put up and uh, shoot the breeze. Yeah, it's a great guy. A guy's guy. That's awesome. Yes, because when I first started watching, so my friends started sending me the videos as I got deeper in the faith. I was a cradle Catholic too. had my reversion in 2015 when my youngest brother said he wanted to be a priest. Mm -hmm. So then I said, well, I got to, you know, what am I doing about it? So I started learning more about the faith, apologetics. My friend sent me census fidelium videos. I listened to Father Ripperger, and at first I'm thinking like, oh, this guy's real serious and kind of monotone. At first I wasn't as into it, but then once I, but then, I don't know what, what, whatever it was, but about, you know, a few months later, I started listening to him again and I'm like, man, he is awesome. He really knows what he's talking about. Yeah. I think it was probably the exorcisms and spiritual protection and spiritual warfare. Mm-hmm. And then that led me into the traditional Latin mass and just mm-hmm. learning more about tradition. So it's just been unbelievable. Yeah, no, I was the same way. I started, we, I remember going to a, uh, uh, Tim Staples conference outside yeah. of Columbia, South Carolina, Chapin, South Carolina, and. He's up there and he's doing his thing. And I look at my brother, I, I got mad. Not, yeah. not at him. I'm going, that guy is a convert. He knows all this stuff. And we've been in this for so long. And yeah. It was one of those little challenges. He's like, all right, all right, let's step up. And we, so I bought his stuff and tried to memorize one of his books. And oh, that's uh, great. great guy. I mean, I've emailed him a couple of times. I don't know if he's, a, I don't know what his thoughts on the channel or not. But yeah, him and Steve Ray, I was listening to on the way in. Catholic Answers a lot. It is used yeah. as a step to, all right, what's the next level? And, no, it's, it's great. And you keep digging gold. Saint Anne, the, the Saint Anne sermon was my, uh, how would you say, aha sermon or ticked off sermon? How, it depends on what the yeah. angle you want. Like, why did I not know this? How did I not hear about this? And you hear about this blind guy that goes up to underneath the altar and digs this hole and finds a steps, uh, you know, staircase. Blind guy, blind deaf kid, staircase goes down the steps, leading the way, finds this empty room that has a candle burning and through that next room 
is, a, is where St. Anne is, and he starts speaking after that. I'm going, how did nobody tell me that story before? Right. Right. There's just so much gold from our tradition that, unfortunately, we just don't hear a lot about. Right. 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 So it's, that's, that's why it's great having your channel there. Now, who changes? who's in charge of changing the pictures? <laughs> You're looking at the guy that does all, all of right. it. <laughs> well, when, well, when you post the picture, Steve, just so you know, I screenshot it, and I'm like, okay, this is a book that we got to get now. Uh-huh. So me and some of my buddies, we send them back and forth. Like this one's from census fidelium. This one's from it. So we're like, okay, that's the stamp of approval. Oh yeah. No, I, I do the same thing. When I hear a book, I actually find it. I find the photo and then I'm pretty much buying it afterwards too. <laughs> yep. I, I see behind you that the uniformity to the will of God, right? Yes. St. Alphonsus. And then is that held by Ro- the um, Robert Bellerman? That's the that's St. Alphonsus one. St. Alphonsus is... Yeah, but I, I do have the hell one by Bellman underneath. I got the Bell, I got a Bellman shelf, an Alphonsus shelf, and a Thomas Aquinas shelf. <laughs> the only reason why I know those books exist is because of you. So, <laughs> so, so I got them in my shelf wherever it is back there, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, there's a little order to the madness back there. There's my saint section over there, and apologetics on a couple shelves, and uh, politics and stuff over on this line, but... I got a, the room's kind of funky. It's not, this house is caving in type deal. So yeah. I got to put the things up there. It's not going to fall over. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have a whole father Ripperger section. Thanks. Yeah. To he's you. down there in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> so do people, I'd assume people probably send you questions all the time or either questions people or recommendations. Him. People think I'm father. I, t- I text them that. I'll tell them, say, yeah, people, I don't know what you did, but people think I'm you. <laughs> I'll get father a comic. I go, no, 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 no. It reminds me of a story when my brother was getting, uh, in, he was in seminary. I think it was the second year. We were back in Spartanburg where we grew up and we went to, uh, uh, I can't remember. The, it was an, Delaney's Irish pub. And yeah, just for a couple of beers with some friends of ours we ain't seen. And this guy comes up. He's Mike's going, my brother's going to the bathroom. This guy comes up behind him and goes, father, father. And he didn't hear, he's not hearing because he's not called fathering. I killed somebody. I go, whoa. <laughs> Stop! I'm not. I'm not a priest. Go two blocks down. There's a pop, knock on the door now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. No. Do, yeah. Do, do get a send, lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Now, do you send those over to Father Ripperger? I get you probably can't do that for all of them. I'd assume. <laughs> if, if, if they're any. asking for him, I'll tell them. Yeah. Hey, you know, here's the website to go to. I don't give him his personal email, but yeah. Naturally. Uh, yeah. yeah. Here's the con. You're going to need to contact him. I'm just a lay man out here, and uh, yeah, just. They'll try to do spiritual direction, things like that. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll give them my, you know, priest back in Denver or somewhere else and say, hey, contact these guys. They can help you out. But yeah, this, it, you'll, and you name the question. I've heard it pretty much. It's non, non, you know, confessional wise, but I've yeah, heard yeah. almost all the questions. <laughs> Anything more common? Any questions more common than maybe others that jump out at you? Or Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I said, I heard who is that priest, I wouldn't be having to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually had to ban that on the uh, on YouTube. You can ban different words, so I banned every name of a priest. <laughs> wow! Yeah, <laughs> or or the phrase "Who is that priest?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And now, the, uh, do people ask, give you different requests for what to do with the with the um, channel, or hey, how oh, about yeah. you try this? Or that They're probably all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, everyone's everyone wants to do it their way, and they'll tell me, "Hey, can't, why don't you make a podcast of the sermons?" And most every one of them come from an MP3 file, which I yeah. link to an, under every video in the description section. Here, you want more? Go here. And yeah. half of those have their own iTunes channel. Okay. Yeah. So, but, no, guys, I, I, I'm not doing that. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is there any other plans that you have with the channel to make it or different forms of social media, linking it up with different places? I don't know. Well, you know, more priests will text me up or email me asking if they want to join or can join. I got a priest from Spain who ends up throwing me as a catechism courses. So I got, you know, a Spanish channel, an English channel on the website. I got a Spanish tab, an Italian tab, a French tab and an English. Well, English is on there. Um, so, yeah, I'm just finishing up more languages if I can find them. Uh, more priests. Yeah, sure. It doesn't bother me. I'm already done for the week for the sermons for this week. They got them done yesterday. So uh, the tough time is, uh, Lent and Holy week. That's when they all come flooding in. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. But no, if you know, we'll see, I have no, it's the old joke. You come up with a plan and God laughs at you because that's, yeah, that's, 
not what's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no idea. Uh, yeah, we're on. Uh, a friend wants to make an app, so I got the whole Bible up on the app on the, the website now with commentary. Uh, could make a. Would like to do a calendar thing. You know, there's a there's an app called RC Catholic that links right to your uh, your smartphone calendar, and I would love to do something like that because I got Karen Jay and. Broken yeah. Morality, Alphonse's Daily Meditations, you name it, I got it on the website. A friend of mine is trying to help me out with the website, then called me up the next day, goes, you have more links than every any website I've ever seen before. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know if we could be able to pull off what I said I was going to do yesterday, but we'll help, we'll try to do something. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, future, no idea. There's a lot of cool ideas, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um yeah. So it's you and your I, brother. No, it's just me. Oh, just you doing the whole thing, holding the yeah, whole thing just, down. Yeah, it's just me. I you see Twitter, if you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, emails, putting the videos up, doing the podcast, it's me. All right. So you so you so you had all the priests. So you so you've had all the priests. So this is this is census fidelium material or this is not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, I'll I'll listen to every sermon I put up just in case uh uh, there's something questionable on it. Make sure there's nothing something questionable about. It. Make sure it's orthodox, basically, and because uh, it's going to have my stamp of approval on it. And I don't want to be standing in front of him at the end of time, going, "Why did you allow that on right. there?" So, right. Yep. If they send it to me, I'll, we'll listen. I'll work out. I'll listen to that, and then I'll put it up later. And I'm trying to already think about what I'm, what photos I'm going to use while I'm listening to one, anyways. And uh, yeah, no, it's just one or two a day. I got it down pretty quick now. I can, if it's a 13, 15 minute sermon, I can bust it out in 20, 25 minutes. And if it's an hour, obviously it takes a little bit longer, but uh, I think I did, a, I redid one of father's sermons from lectures from eight years ago. And cause uh, if you look at the old, protection. yeah, yeah. You could tell the old ones cause they, they, they have really bad photos. I mean, just poor. I mean, the, the quality is the blurry. They're terrible looking. So I'll go around and redo it just to make it more appealing, really. And yeah, that was the one. And yeah, it's about 54 minutes. I think it took me an hour and a half to do it. I was just, you know, just clicking. I know where all the photos are now. I got all kinds of folders with. I was going to say, you probably have folders that you could pull from so you could recycle them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a whole prayer folder, a whole mass folder, a whole, you know, every saint folder. <laughs> That's awesome. There's uh, a little method to the madness, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be. There's got to be. It's funny because that day I was actually I have a, a text chain that I do with a bunch of Catholic wrestlers. Uh -huh. So we send them. I send them different messages. They send me messages and I wanted to send them spiritual protection. And that was the, like the day it was down. Uh -huh. And I'm like, where did it go? And then I saw it popped up at, the, at night. Oh, it's going to be displayed at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, figured I, was, I figured somebody would want that when I pulled it off. Going, ah. <laughs> and then YouTube <laughs> took forever to upload it. Ah. I was getting texts. What's going on? I'm over there. I'm down the street at the barbecue joint getting some tea. And, and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll get back. When I get back to the house, I'll just turn it on when I get back. So. <laughs> yeah. And I love and I love the cool logo. Like, oh, yeah. You got to have, gotta have gear. You have to have shirts and stuff and shorts and everything. There is a Teespring and a Zazzle account. So I got bumper stickers, uh, coffee mugs, T-shirts. Uh, go. I got a... There's it has I haven't put it up yet. I need to. The, you know that you've seen those uh, grunt uh, shirts got the, the flag on the side. Yeah. So I made one. I wanted to make a military like flag yeah. shirt. So I got it's got the my logo up here, uh, the Lepanto flag right there on this shoulder, the Spanish Lepanto flag on this one, and the banner on the back, which has got Peter and Paul and in, in Vinches. It's a little faded. It looks darker. It's it looks it look, to me it looks cool. Uh, yeah. So I need to get that. There's only you can only there's only a one place that you can make a, you know, with one on the sleeves and all that. And yeah. So I, I keep forgetting to put it up. It's not it's not Teespring. It's Printify or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, I got some swag out there. Uh, That's so. awesome. No, I love it. I love the logo. Everyone I talk, to, everyone who I speak to, loves the logo, and it just it looks cool. Like it looks tough. Like um. Like a manly thing. Not that it's only for men, obviously, but it just looks tougher. So. No, I, was, I was at a uh, conference in Greenville, South Carolina, when I moved after I moved back here, and I had that shirt on. And I'm walking down the hallway, and some guy comes running up behind me and goes, I thought that was you. I saw the logo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> now, and now, which church is it that has the blue background that, in the beginning of the videos? Is that your home parish? Oh, that was uh, Santa Trinitas in Rome. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's the altarpiece of, out there. If you have, you type in Santa Trinitas, you'll see this gigantic, uh, you know, the Holy Trinity. It's that's that's Beautiful. the altarpiece. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. I don't know. For some reason, it makes me think of Holy Innocence. I'm in New York City, originally mm -hmm. from New Jersey, and the Latin uh, mass over there. It kind of makes me think of that. I have a couple of photos from there. If you want the, if you want to send some more, I get to get some people yeah. to pose as, for praying and all that, and send some photos that way. I used to have the, uh, I used to use him a lot. Uh, the uh, what's that painting that's in the back of Holy Innocence? Uh, the uh, the WW two painting. The guy, the repentant guy, all hugging the cross. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I, I used to put that in a lot more videos. I've forgotten about it until you, bring, you brought I, that up. I could send you, my, my friend David, he goes to Latin masses, or he was going to all Latin masses before this whole lockdown, but all across the Northeast, and he takes beautiful pictures. I could, he could have him send those things to you. I'll take them, because I, I, I do Google right now, and after a, <laughs> after a while, I use the same ones over and over. I would love, if anybody wants to send, if they want to be in a video, just... Pose and send. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. No, excellent. No, that that's great stuff. And the another thing that just popped into my head while I'm speaking to you, my first son, yes, he was born two year, well, year and a half ago, whatever it's been, just over a year. And when he was baptized, my friend's phone went off during the ceremony. Ah, uh, <laughs> and, and I'm and I'm up there listening. I'm like, yep, census fidelium <laughs> during the ceremony, the baptism. Oh, no, I've heard, I've heard people say that they'll, they'll hear the sound and go, who's that? And, <laughs> now I got a, I, my friend Keith Jones, who uh, did the videos for uh, the Colby Center uh, DVDs. He put that together in five seconds. He's, he's a wizard with that stuff. I asked, hey, man, can you make an opening? And literally after I got done with that, he how you like this. And I'm just went, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, I guess another thought that I had was, what, how did you get into, I hate it's, I hate even using the word traditional Catholicism because it's just Catholicism, mm -hmm. right? right? But how, how did you go from the reversion to now, like the traditional Latin mass and all this Father Ripperger with all the virtues and everything? Was it Father Ripperger who brought you to that, like the understanding or? I had no happen? idea what it was. Uh, I was in Colombia at the time. I see the channel was already going. I mean, seven, 800, 900 people or something, subscribers at that time, you know, very early. Now, my brother was about to go in with the fraternity, the, the seminary, and he comes back, because after his first year, and told me, hey, you know, we're having a St. Joseph retreat in our home parish up in Spartanburg. And he goes, it's the Latin Mass. I go, okay, okay. And I say, okay, and I'm going, I, okay, I guess that's just the Mass I see now in Latin. So I bought, the, bought a book that was Latin English, I was looking through it because I'm thinking I have to do the exact same thing that I was doing the last umpteen years of my life. Yeah. And uh, so when I first saw it, I wasn't lost because I actually was studying it, trying to figure out what was what was going on, what was saying, what the words were, etc. And the first, and we get to it, and the first mass I see is in a you know, first traditional mass I see is in a gym. Uh, you just you know you got what the three point line, <laughs> and he's on a stage, and I'm just going. I've, I've, before then, I've always been. Right, you know, right. Never thought of, yeah, yeah. Never thought anything of it. Uh, that's how we were taught in second grade. We were supposed to do that, and uh, I kept in mind. I said, "Oh, nobody's going to feed me. You know, nobody's going to give me that." And that was the first time I knelt and on the and received on the mouth, and never came out of you know, never went back after that one. It made sense. So you, keep, you hear hear people say that just made sense. And uh, I remember seeing that it was a low mass, and Father Ferguson was doing, it, and uh, Father West now and in the diocese of Charleston, he was serving. And I just remember thinking, man, if this looks that good in a this ugly looking gym, and we're you know yeah. white walls, there's no bleacher, it's just the walls and a you know a couple hoops. How good is this going to look in a church? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that was, yeah, my first one was you know on in a basketball court on a stage with three people, four or five people in there. And then the next one was in a beautiful church going, this is amazing. And then a buddy of mine told me, Hey, you got to come up for midnight mass. I'm going, ah, well, you know, what's the big deal? You know, it's going to, it's going to be all right as well. And never been to a midnight mass. Really. I'd never been to a midnight mass. Yeah. Uh, it's too lazy. Didn't want to stay up, go up there, last about three hours. And you didn't want it in. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, yeah, you were pretty much hooked after that. Ended up, you know, driving two hours for Mass then and moved back up in the upstate, drove an, drove an hour because it was halfway between and drove an hour to Mass after that. And yeah, no, that was, uh, it was, yeah, pretty much hooked. I mean, I'll go to a, a Nova's order of, you know, when I was doing Uber in uh, Denver, yeah, I wanted to head daily mass and you didn't know where you were going to be. And you had the little app, uh, mass finder and I would right. hit that up and, Oh, there's a mass right down the street. So, right. So it would go now here in the diocese here, there's a bunch. Now there's one, there's, you know, got the main, Chris, I'm okay. sorry, which diocese again, Charlotte, Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. So you got the main church, the St. Anne's is the main triad church, but it does both. And, uh, uh, there's four or five uh, reg- uh, other parishes that do one trad mass a week. So yeah, I got the schedule in there. It was you know Tuesday, Tuesday here, Wednesday here, Thursday here, Fridays here, some Saturdays here. But even in all the all the Noah's Order ones, they all use the altar rail. They all receive it on the tongue. Uh, yeah. One's doing ad orientum. You're the rebel at the cathedral if you're the one standing or use the wow yeah, use your hands. Good. Great. It's. I remember my first when we moved back here, and I'm going, ah, oh, thank God, it just left Denver, down the street from Fraternity Parish. I remember how the cathedral was up there. If we went to the mass up there, and going, oh, just plug your ears because the deacon was going to say something weird. Yeah. And no, I remember going to another one where it was just you know an IKEA church, and uh, fathers from Poland. He busts out an extra ecclesium nalus salus sermon. I'm going. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. And uh, so I go, we go to the cathedral here, and I'm going, oh, man, here we are. And Father comes out on a fiddleback. Okay. Silent cannon. Okay. He's keeping his canonical digits together going. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Everybody receiving at the rail and on the tongue going, all right, we're moving in the right direction. <laughs> I wasn't That's expecting right. this. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, yeah, there's a lot. The younger ones out here, the young priests are all uh, kicking it old school in a way. They they just did the whole the whole seminar here did the pre fifty five. Oh wow! For Holy Week, yeah. The that's seminary. Something. That's something. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, great. Not the ICK seminary, not the fraternity seminary, not not, not anybody. Like that, it's just the diocese seminary. <laughs> wow, that's great. And did that do that? Do they do you speak to them regularly? You They're all keep- fans. Uh, those. We'll come even when I was in Denver. We'd we'd come out here and uh, do uh, the Eucharistic Congress, which is we got about ten thousand people show up for it. So we we joined the Charlotte Land Mass Society group, and I'd split the table with them, and I would draw in these people for them, and they get them to sign up for the, their email list. So we worked in union with each other. But yeah, the seminaries that come up, and we were taking photos last time, and they were all fans, and uh, no, just they're 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 amazing. They're I, mean, I see so many priests, young priests or seminarians that are hooked on the channel or they'll yeah. email me or te- not text me, they'll yeah. you know message me on Facebook or Twitter. And I'm like, wow, no, this is awesome. You know, hey, we the real infiltration. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, that's that's great. And I'm sure you've seen the Facebook group. Obviously, um, Father Ripperger takes up twenty percent of my hard drive. He, he thinks that's hilarious. By the way, the uh, the title. <laughs> When I when I, I saw him on the on Father Heilman's show, what is it, the U.S. Grace Force? Yeah, and yeah. He, and he brought that up. They brought it up to him, and you and he got a kick out of it. You could see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's that's whoever came up with that name was, cl- that was classic. <laughs> so they're they're in copyright infringement, ripping your videos and downloading them and taking them for themselves. <laughs> yeah, no, they, we well, well, Father will tell me is hey, there's some guy taking your videos. Can you ask me to? Can you ask him to go down and? You know, for, to be honest, if somebody does take one of mine, I don't I don't care too much. It's getting the message out more, I mean, especially if I put my the logo on it. Right. They really can't do much to it. But uh, so if the priest asks me to do X, then yeah. that's, I'll ask how high you want me to jump. So <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. How's he been doing these days, Father Ripperger? I know he's busy. Uh, he's still got plenty of, uh, you know, uh, exorcisms going on. The. Uh, the devil's not doing any of the social distancing that the that's right. that's <laughs> powers right. that be are making everybody do. Uh, so yeah, he's still he's still pretty active. Yeah, and now is his order the Delorans? They're up and running, right? They're canonically regulated. They're all, they're good to go. Oh yeah, yeah, they're still they're. I know they got a couple guys that are looking to join them. I think one from England he was telling me. So yeah, I know there's two or three that are interested in joining. Yeah, and he's so, and they got their new place has got they got 
enough room to grow. Yeah. So, yeah. And now he's the head there, right? What would you call mm-hmm. the head of that of the order uh, there? I guess superior. I guess I, I don't know if he calls himself the superior, but but he's the superior of it. Yeah. If that's yeah. the right word for it, yeah. And uh, do do the exorcists across the country do they have a way of communicating uh, like with one another to bounce ideas off each other? I hear Father saying that sometimes in his homilies that oh I talk to this exorcist mm-hmm. that exorcist. Yeah, he's he's actually trying to come up with a database, I think, of stuff like that, so that makes it easier for them to, you know, have you seen X, have you seen Y, and be able to figure it out to be able to work better or you know work smarter, not harder type deal. Uh, so yeah, he's yeah they met, he's mentioned that before that you know, he'll call if, if somebody else to bounce some ideas off their head if they've seen X and see if someone else has seen anything like that. Uh, so yeah, they're they're working on that part. It won't be for the lady though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, naturally. Uh, it's great stuff. No, thank you, Steve, for all you've done, and thank you for joining us with this with our our meeting of the minds. Where can people find more from you? Where can people buy the gear? Where can people, what can people like? How can people donate to you? Patreon, anything like that that you have? Yeah, it's funny. People always tell me to start Patreon up and I keep telling them, I've had it up for two years or, you know, bit shoot. And I said, I was the first, I was literally like the fifth on bit shoot. And uh, yeah. no, it's a uh, census fidelium that us is the website. A lot of people don't even know the website even exists. Uh, it's got about 15,000 links on there. So anything you think of is pretty much on there <laughs> in four different languages. Nice. Uh, I just I just opened unlock. No, I didn't unlock it. It's unlisted. A nine day consecration that Friar Anthony did, I think last year. It's on video right now. You can only find it on the .us site, which will take you back to the YouTube channel. So you get there, you're on the YouTube channel. The merchandise is on there. You just it's got a tab. Merchandise Zazzle and Teespring. I don't have room for. Uh, inventory and it's a lot less expensive so yeah i might get like 40 cents for a shirt but saves a lot and it's mainly getting the message out there hey check this out want to make something cool they can do it better than i can and yeah so if somebody sells a fat million shirts then i'll buy somebody a beer i guess because i'll be able to (laughs) um yeah and everything donations is on the us site and uh, yeah pretty much everything contact info Hit me up if you want. If you want to ask a question, uh, come in the area, whatever. Need, <laughs> yeah, everything's in there. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Steve, for everything you've done. Like I said, I I'll keep pushing people your way. I've been doing it for a long time. I know, you know, your your channel's changed my life and it's changed a lot of people's lives. So thank you. Please, please, on on behalf of all Catholics across the country <laughs> and the world, please keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I feel like the men, the uh, the hair club for men guy. Not only am I a fan, I'm also am I not only am I the president, I'm also a client. <laughs> also a client. That's right. <laughs> uh, thanks again, Steve. All right, Steve Cunningham, everyone. Uh, Census Fidelia. Make sure you're checking it out. Like it, share it. And buy everything there. <laughs> Whatever sure you got. <laughs> Take care. I even make golf balls just because I could. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We'll be getting those too. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, bud.